trigonometry in any triangle and a little bit of Pythagoras. So we've got to find the area of this quadrilateral which essentially is two triangles stuck together. So if we break this quadrilateral up into two triangles along AC then we can work out this triangle nice and easily because it's a right angle triangle. This is the base, this is the height. So half the base which is 6 times the height gives us an area of 30. Um, but we need to work out this triangle so we need to use some of the the rules for any triangle. So they're, here they are, they're given to you at the start of the exam. Um, the one we need to use is this half a b sine c rule to work out the area. Um, but to get that we need we need to know what c is, or the angle. This angle here is the one we need to know. And to work out that angle to find that angle we're going to have to use the cosine rule this rule here because we can't use a sine rule because we need to know at least one angle to the sine rule we don't know any angles in this triangle at all so um, what we're going to need to do here is to work out we need to know this side these two sides were given and this gives the angle so um, if we label it up for this rule if this is A this is going to be little a, this is b, this is c. Um, we need to work out little a. Um, this is a right angle triangle so we can work out a using a bit of Pythagoras. Um, a squared equals 5 squared plus 12 squared. That gives you 169 so a is going to be the square root of 169 which is 13. It might be familiar to use a standard right angle triangle 5, 12, 13. It might not, so you can work it out. But now we know what this value is, it's 13. We can bung those into this formula for the cosine rule. So we've got 13 squared equals 9 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 9 times 10 times the cosine of A. Okay, then we need to start using our calculator maybe. So bring the calculator in. There's a previous question on there. So we've got 169 equals 9 squared plus 10 squared. Now a big problem with the cosine rule is people wanting to do this 9 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 9 times 10 but this 2 times 9 times 10 goes with this cos A and this is a number in front of cos A so we do not take that away from 181 um, 2 times 9 is 18 times 10 is 180 cos A so then we need to solve this if we take away, uh, if we take this over to the other side, it becomes plus 180 cos A, and then we take the 16, 169 onto this side, we get 181 minus 169, and that gives us uh, 22. So 180 cos A is 22. So the cos of A equals 22 over 180. So to find find a, we need to do the cos to the minus one of 22 over 180. Close the brackets. That gives us 82.979 degrees. A bit of editing required here. Let's just go back a little bit. Rub that out. Generally, one take away 169 is going to be 12. So the cos of a is going to be 12 over 180. So we need to do the cos of the minus one of 12 over 180, and that gives us 86. A is 86.177 blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to use that value if you leave it in the calculator in this formula for the area of the triangle so a half of AB remember A and B are not the same A and B in this one they're the two sides either side of the angle that we're using we're using this angle here so it's going to be 9 and 10 so it's a half of 9 times 10 times the sine of that 86.177 so we've got that, we're going to use the sine of that answer. 
and we're going to times that by um, a half of 9 times 10 which is 45 to give us 44.8999 and then we're going to add on the other answer we had which was 30 to give us 74.9 centimeters squared. Okay.